I'm a proud member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, which is a black Greek letter organization and a part of a collective of other black Greek letter organizations called the Divine Nine. And today is our Founders Day. Shout out to the members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Blue Five, my good brothers. Unfortunately, since I just moved to Chicago and all of my stuff is in storage, I don't have any of my paraphernalia, but I do have this. <laughs> I have my lanyard. So if you're watching the YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, or Instagram, you can see that I have something on me, okay? Don't, don't try to drag me on my Founders Day. <laughs> but that doesn't stop me from shining a light and a positive light at that of my wonderful organization. If you didn't know, according to Phi Beta Sigma 1914.org, quote, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity was founded at Howard University in Washington, D.C., January 9th, 1914 by three young African-American male students, the founders, Honorable A. Lynx and Taylor, Taylor, Honorable Leonard F. Morris, and Honorable Charles I. Brown wanted to organize a Greek letter fraternity that would truly exemplify the ideals of brotherhood, scholarship, and service. The founders deeply wished to create an organization that viewed itself as a part of the general community rather than a part from the general community. They believe that each potential member should be judged by his own merits rather than his family background or affluence without regard to race, nationality, skin tone, or texture of hair. They desire for their fraternity to exist as a part of an even greater brotherhood, which would be devoted to the inclusive we rather than the exclusive we. From its inception, the founders also conceived Phi Beta Sigma as a mechanism to deliver services to the general community. Rather than gaining skills to be utilized exclusively for themselves and their immediate families, they held a deep conviction that they should return their newly acquired skills to the communities from which they had come. This deep conviction was mirrored in the fraternity's motto, quote, culture for service and service for humanity. Today, Phi Beta Sigma has blossomed into an organization international and has a bunch of amazing leaders that continue to push the movement forward. No longer a single, single entity, members of the fraternity have been instrumental in the establishment of the Phi Beta Sigma National Foundation, the Phi Beta Sigma Federal Credit Union, and the Sigma Beta Club Foundation. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, founded in 1920 with the assistance of Phi Beta Sigma, is their sister organization of the fraternity and is the only organization that is constitutionally bound to another fraternity, end quote. Now, I crossed into the organization spring of 2019 into the Zeta Iota Sigma chapter in South Florida. I am proudly the quad tail of my line and will always boast about my amazing achievement of becoming a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Now, for those who don't who see black letter organization as a problem, just a way to party through college, a social space only and for paid friendships, I want to educate you. And I'm not just going to educate you from my perspective. I'm actually going to bring in members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated to actually come on my live radio show to educate you about why they joined, some advice that they would give to others who may wanna join. What is the importance of fraternity and sorority life in our communities and how we continue to break stereotypes that are placed on us by people who, not even, who aren't even in our organization. So I need y'all to stick around. This is the Jamie D Show live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST out of the Elgin and the Chicago land area. Y'all, you may actually know some of the people who are going to come on my live radio show, so stick around. You might actually enjoy yourself. I'll be right back. For great quality tasting Italian food and pizza, make your destination the Italian Pizza Kitchen on Irving Park in Roselle. The freshest Italian ingredients are used at Italian Pizza Kitchen where the plentiful pasta dishes are created from old home recipes. Try the piping hot pizza or other favorites like the fall off the bone ribs. Italian Pizza Kitchen has a passion for outstanding food and service. From their family to yours, Bon Appetito. Call 630-582-1900. Keeping your car's coolant system in good shape with a regular flush is really important. Let the experts at Key Car Care Center at 376 Sundown Road in South Elgin remove your old coolant, preventing chemical buildups in your engine. Then they'll fill your entire system with new coolant to help your engine run smoothly and prevent rust and corrosion, increasing your engine's lifespan. To schedule your appointment, call 847-888-9644.
Listen this Sunday afternoon to Handle on the Law. So uh, here you are getting the bill. Don't even open it. And you simply put deceased. You're going to get another bill. Uh, I would put, do you understand she's dead? Question mark. Uh, You're going to get another one. Exclamation point at this one. Do you understand that she is completely, unequivocally uh, dead? (laughs) So deceased return to sender. Yeah, yeah. And do that a few times. It's Handle on the Law this Sunday afternoon from 4 to 7 right here on WRMN. Well, Floor Taco Grill at 910 Dundee Avenue at the corner of Slade has great fast casual Mexican food for the whole family. There's a huge selection of salads, quesadillas, a Taco Tuesday special, burritos, gorditas, and the Thursday flautas dinner deal. La Floor Taco Grill also has American favorites and breakfast. There's a kids menu too. Planning an event? La Floor has catering with both Mexican and American foods. Call 847-214-1306 or La Floor Taco Grill on Facebook. Experts say regular auto maintenance is one of the most important things for your car. Meineke Car Care Center at 376 Sundown Road in South Elgin covers all your automotive needs. From oil changes, brake services, and emission testing, Meineke's expert staff provides hard work and dedication with the utmost professionalism. Need an oil change? Visit Meineke in South Elgin for their 23-point inspection. Call 847-888-9644. What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jamie D Show. Live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. Sorry, 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and live on WRM and AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST out of the Elgin and Chicago land area. Hey, I'm, I'm so, so glad, glad that you guys are here because, because the Jamie D Show, show is super, super excited, excited to announce that it's Phi Beta, Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated's Founder Founders Day. Founders Day. And not, not only do I want to shed a, a positive, positive light, light on the organization, but I want to shed a light on a, a bunch of individuals, individuals who are members, members of the organization, organization who have paved the way for others, who have continued to push the mission forward, who have continued to shed a positive light in their own communities on the organization and more. So I need you guys. To stick stick around, around. hold on on one second. second. I guess guess there's there's an echo. echo. I need need, uh, the the producer producer to to click echo cancellation cancellation now, apparently, because apparently 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 there there is a echo. I'm not sure where the echo is coming from. But, uh, producer, if you can go ahead and go to settings, audio, and echo cancellation, I guess there's an echo. I'm not sure where that's coming from. But, yes, like I said, today is Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated's Founders Day, and I'm super excited to bring on a bunch of different members who have made a space for themselves in the organization and who have continued to push the mission forward, who have continued to create a space for others to join the organization to continue to push the mission forward. And for those of them who have created a space for their actual demographic to join the organization and expand the organization. So without further ado, I want to actually bring on my dean. He is the one who actually brought me into Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated in the Zeta Iota Sigma chapter in South Florida. His name is Akimo Charles. Y'all, I want to have you all clap it up for him because this man when i tell you he put me through it <laughs> no for real for he actually took care of me he made sure everything was great and he was an amazing amazing dean in my process to becoming a member of five beta sigma fraternity incorporated so without further ado let's welcome in akimo charles good afternoon. what's up good sir afternoon. how are you good morning good afternoon i know we're in different time zones Awesome. I mean, yeah, we are in different times. I think we're what going into the future where you are. You're in South Florida still, correct? Yes, yes. It's about two twenty-two where I am. Yeah, yeah I'm in Chicago, Illinois, so it's one twenty-two. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> hey, but you looking good, Dean. How you been? Well, thank you. I'm 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 doing well. You know, just trying to truck through, take care of my students, and make things work. Right. And look, you're already in your nail right now, and I really Absolutely. appreciate you having your nail on because this is all I got since I just moved to Chicago. <laughs> And all my stuff is in storage. Oh, there we go. There we go. But, you know, the best part is I still got blue all around the background and on my shirt. So I'm doing something for the organization. Now, you are a member of Five Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Let the people know who are listening in right now, how long have you actually been a member? You know what? Ironically, my um, initiation date was 12-19, 
1999. So I've been a member for 24 years. Oh, wow. 24 years. Yes. Now, we're, I'm also wait, a life member. People are saying, wow. Tell them the date one more time. 12-19-1999. 12, 19, 1999. Akimo, I was. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Okay. To go there. So, take us back in time. In 1999, when you were in college and you were like, hey, I want to become a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Tell us why did you originally want to join this organization? So I share this story a lot. Um, my first year of college, I attended Bethune Cookman University. And, mm. you know, as a as an 18 year old coming straight out of high school, you know, no one, you know, you have family and friends and you get to a, a campus where you're trying to fit in. You're trying to find somebody like you. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, when I looked around at all the different Greek organizations, being a member of the concert chorale at the time, we had a member from pretty much every org in the concert chorale, but I stuck to certain groups very well, but Phi Beta Sigma edged them out. And, and I say that because, you know, oftentimes we hear ourselves as the people's frat. Right. So I went up, you know, young, and I needed some assistance getting some more books. And okay. we had a Sigma at the time who worked in the bookstore. He's like, man, just bring me your schedule. I got you. <laughs> and lo and behold, I got my books. Ooh, you know, that's, so that's one service. of those things where when we talk about scholarship, you know, that was my first introduction into how much we value scholarship that no matter how much he knew me or what I needed, he was able to assist me in getting to that point of scholarship. And then, you know, I also received a scholarship from the Zeta Phi Beta chapter, uh, alumni chapter here in uh, Broward County, Florida. So okay. I was able to be supported my first year academically by the blue and white family. I love that. So Blue and White Family, like we I said earlier in my introduction, Phi Beta Sigma is the only organization that is constitutionally bound to Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. We have a lot of sorors who are actually on the YouTube right now. Someone said, actually, Naturally Radiant said, 12-16-09-Z5. We love to hear it. And so there's a lot of people who are in our organizations from many different nationalities, many different demographics, and more on. And you actually, you appear to be African-American. However, you're not from America. So I want you to actually tell people, well, you are, but like your, your, your lineage is not. And so I want you to I got tell the best of both worlds. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. And so I, I want you to tell people about your lineage and your heritage and how that was able to fit in our organization. Because a lot of times when people see, you know, black Greek letter organizations, they just think it's American blacks. And there are right. so many different demographics in our organizations that make up our organizations mm -hmm. that make them complete in serving the many different communities that are actually in America. Right. So ironically, I was born in the U.S. Virgin Islands. However, my mother's side of the family is from uh, St. Kitts, Nevis area. And then my dad's side is from Antigua. So when you mesh it all together, I have the Caribbean experience. And then we uh, came to the mainland, as we normally say in uh, VI. And I was able to continue my schooling and finish here. But overall, you know, as I've gotten more mature in the organization, I realized that all this time we've had chapters of all the orgs in the islands. We've had family members who actually were members of the orgs, but the way we promote ourselves now wasn't the way they did it back then. You know, with mm. social media and all of the other tools that we have, you can constantly see what we're doing and how we're doing it. Back in the day, I had no idea. I right. just knew. I saw this emblem or this thing and that was it. But now we are really, really getting to the roots of our communities. And I can truly say in South Florida, we have a lot of first generation Greeks, mm -hmm. especially in Phi Beta Sigma. At one point in time, my undergrad chapter at Florida Atlantic University, the Alpha Beta Iota chapter, which I am the first initiate of, oh, they wow. thought you had to be Caribbean to join. That's how many mm -hmm. first generation Caribbean men passed through that particular chapter, as well as wow. we had uh, brothers who were from uh, Mexico or Dominican Republic or, you know, Honduras. We've, we've had the gambit. So when I can truly say one thing about us, we are the inclusive we yes, rather we than are. the exclusive. We have been able to 
initiate brothers of all religious and um, cultural backgrounds. I love that. Now, Kimo, you actually are a great representative of the organization and a great spokesperson for Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, but you are an active member. You are a real member. You're not just a face. You're not just a voice box who's going to say, hey, Phi Beta Sigma is the best. Join us. You know about the real nitty gritty that we actually have to get into in our organization, and that's community service. I'm not sure where... That's that my sure? that's my bell. We just had a bell change. Okay, right okay. I'm about to say, see now what's going on today. We can't be doing it with Bobby <laughs> Super Line, okay? But no, yes, like I was saying, you understand the real nitty gritty about being in that organization and actually being about service. You spoke about community service. And one thing I know to be true of, of all of our chapters of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, but specifically Zeta Idol Sigma, we're about community service. I'm always getting emails about, hey, we need people to sign up for this. We have this event going on. I want you to detail how active is not only the chapter, but the organization in the community. So we have different arms. And I say that because most recently we did a new induction for our Sigma Beta Club. And we initiated quite a few young men, you know, especially right after the pandemic, when everything kind of fizzled away, we were able to bring them back. So that led us to doing our gala that we just hosted for New Year's Eve to raise scholarships. We have about four seniors and we want to make certain that we give them some kind of financial assistance. So what we do on a whole is we attach ourselves to organizations mm -hmm. and to community sponsorships that allow us to donate our time. And in some cases, we are benefiting from them, from them giving us gifts of in kind or, or, or whatever it is, but we do our street cleanups. Mm -hmm. We uh, volunteer with the homeless. We volunteer with the community members who are elderly. We, we do housing projects where we may go to a brother or Sara who's elderly and may need some yard work done, clean up their homes. And then we have brothers who are in the medical field. So at times we may need to put on a health fair or some type of event to make our community aware of whatever ailments that they may possess and how best to treat or maintain their health. So we, we try to cover everything that we can. We have brothers who are currently tutoring uh, young members, not even Sigma Betas, but just young people um, free of charge at their own will. So we're, we're having little tentacles in every aspect <laughs> of community service. Right, I love so that. Like, now. Like I said, many arms, but I should say tentacles. <laughs> I love that. Now, Akimo, I know that you are currently at work, and I really appreciate you for jumping on. You are live on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube, but you're also live on the radio in Las Vegas and live on the radio in Chicago. And I'm sure that people are going to be posting this everywhere. I want you to talk about this real quick. The members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated are a very eclectic group. We have ourselves in so many different pro professions. And I want you to shine a light on what you're actually doing currently in your profession. Because we, we hear the bell right now. <laughs> Look, you tried to mute it, but you can't mute it. We heard it. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> Three minute passing. Um, so right. I am a middle school assistant principal. I'm actually an intern principal. I'm in the program to eventually get my own school. And oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We love to hear it. You will go to school in 2024. Yes, yes, yes. You will get it. Okay. All right. There it is. <laughs> so, you know, a majority of our chapter right now, we have brothers who are, like I said, in the medical field. We have brother. Matter of fact, your line brother was uh, in the medical field, Jamie. Yep. Yep. Um, we have brothers in education. We have brothers in engineering. Um, we have brothers who work at the city government level, and then we have brothers who are firefighters, paramedics, et cetera. So we try to gauge our membership based on people who are truly about serving, people who are truly about helping the community. And when you come to us, you can be any profession you want, but we're going to look for the best fit or the best way that you can assist the community. Yep. I love that. Yes. Now, Akimo, I know you got to get back to work. Before we, we let you go, I want you to leave the people listening in right now 
knowledge on why being in a black letter Greek organization is extremely important for our communities. So this is not a knock to any organization. There are organizations <laughs> <Hold on>. that... <laughs> Let me turn my light off. I'm listening. Keep going. <laughs> there, you know, there are other organizations that may only do the work during the collegiate time. But when it comes to the Divine Nine, this is a lifelong commitment. If you're going to do it at the undergraduate level, know that there's an area for you immediately after you graduate. This is where the rubber meets the road. You literally are, you know, when you come in as an undergrad, and I, I can speak on that level, I'm the state director of collegiate affairs for Florida. And one of my challenges is trying to make sure that our student, well, I'm saying students, I'm at work, sorry, that our <laughs> brothers matriculate to the alumni chapter afterwards. Because a lot of times we get in because we saw the, the party or the, the strolls or the step show. So we look at the social aspect. But then when it comes to the real work, we may do a cleanup on the campus. We may go to the beach. We may do something alongside the alumni chapter. But there's a deeper need in the communities that is something that the alumni chapters dig deeper with. And if you are a person who loves to help, yes, you can do it on your own, but it's better when you have a thousand more brothers behind you because in numbers, there's strength. Yes, so sir. a lot of times I try to explain to others that, you know, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, of course, I'm always going to be for blue. You can help your community. There are things that you see and there are connections that we have that will get your vision and your promise to fruition. We love that. So, Akimo, I tried to do this little joke earlier where I turned the light off to uh, include shade because we love when people say, you know, no shade to others, but it's always going to be some shade. Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity, actually, no, I just squeaked my little voice. Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated is that organization. I'm going to stand on the hill. Not you turned your light off, too, but I'm going to stand on the hill. We are an organization above many or other organizations, but we are still a part of an inclusive divine nine that Absolutely. still pushes the African-American culture forward. And so while I love our organization and while we do do it the best, you know, there's, you know, other people who do a great job, too. <laughs> Absolutely. But thank you Absolutely. so much. I appreciate you. Yo, I love you, Dean. Thank you so much for bringing me into the organization. Thank you so much for keeping me in the organization. And thank you so much for continuing to push me to keep the mission moving forward of Phi Beta Smooth Fraternity Incorporated. I can't wait to continue to connect with you and build with you as we see ourselves in this organization. I love you, frat. Love you, too. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blue fight, you know. We love to see it. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. Thank you so much, Chemo. Have a good rest of your day at school and make sure you teach those kids to join our organization. <laughs> Absolutely, you as well. All right. We'll talk yeah. later. We'll talk later. All right, guys, this has been the Jamie D Show. We're still here. However, I want you guys to know we're gonna bring on more members of Five Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. Don't go anywhere. This is KSHP out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and WR Men out of the Elgin and Chicago land area. Stick around. We got a member coming out of California. Don't go nowhere. You never know what you might hear in the morning on the first shift with Marky B and friends, like poetry presented by Joel by the Riverside. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, winter stream, the pure, clear winter stream weaves idly and cold. Ice encroaches everywhere. Winter's taken hold. It's got to be pretty cold for the creeks to freeze. Yeah. Here we go. Icicle drop. An icicle dripped and dribbled by day. At night, it froze and stopped. And so it went each day that way. So one warm day, it rocked. <laughs> okay, Marky B, thanks for entertaining us. And thanks for getting up every morning uh, to make us happy. News, weather, traffic, sports, and local information and entertainment in the Fox River Valley. It's the first shift weekdays from 6 to 10 a.m. Right here on WRMN, AM 1410 and 96.7 FM.
This is Marky B of The First Shift, and when I feel like getting serious in the mornings, I call on Jeff Ward of TheFirstWord.net because he has the solutions to all of our local and national issues. Every time I talk about this immigration issue, people accuse me, oh, you just want to let them all in. No, we need to take care of our own. You know, of course, if we cut our defense budget by 10%, we could take care of everybody, migrants and our own, and we'd still be spending more money than the next 9 to 10 countries combined. It's The First Shift, weekday mornings from 6 to 10 a.m., right here on WRMN. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to The Jamie D Show, Woo! live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PSC out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM CST every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST. Y'all, we're in the Elgin, the Chicagoland community. It's an absolute pleasure to have you guys listening in in your cars right now and also listening on the YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook at The Jamie D Show. Super, super excited to be talking about Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated in our Founders Day today. So we're going to actually bring on another member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated out of California. He's in Los Angeles, California right now, and I'm super excited to bring him on. Hey, without further ado, I need you guys to give me a round of applause and a bell ring for Kenyatta Burton. <laughs> Woo! What's <laughs> up, Fred? How are you? Man, I'm good. I'm maintaining. Uh, seeing your journey, man, it's definitely been inspirational from the moment we met. It's It's been nothing but great vibes, and I'm just so happy for you and your journey, man. It, it's been a pleasure watching you. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. It means a lot, too, especially today, because I'm live in Chicago, Illinois, but also live in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm living in Chicago, Illinois, and we're having a snowstorm at this moment, and I'm doing my show live from home, and I'm telling you, I got everything set up. I pre-planned everything, and it's like, even though you do good, technical difficulties still happen, and that shows you that this is a live radio show, but you know, when you're trying to put it on for the org, you're like, we can't be doing that. We can't be doing that, but you know, we make it work. And I'm proud of myself as well for making sure that I always keep moving the mission forward of my organization and also of my brand. And so I appreciate your thanks because that means a lot because I'm out here working hard AF. <laughs> but, hey, it's about you right now. And we have you on my live radio show to talk about Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. You do have your shirt on today. Go ahead and show the people what you're wearing because this is a live show. Now you see that, the Greek letter organizations. We love to see it. Now, Kenyatta, let's do a little background on who you are. You are from where? When did you actually cross? And why did you cross? Yeah, I'm originally from Philadelphia, uh, born and raised. Uh, I crossed May 22nd, 2015. So I'm almost 10 years old. I'm, I'm getting up there. Uh, <laughs> oh, so no. uh, what made me choose Phi Beta Sigma? That was a great question. Uh, entering college. Uh, seeing all the different orgs. I knew I wanted to be a part of the org because I know all the good things that all of the black letter Greek organizations do for the community, for our people, moving our people forward. So I, I knew it was something I wanted to be a part of. Um, took a while to kind of figure out which org I wanted to go in, but I understand. my ADP uh, 2013 solo, um, that was all the inspiration I needed. Um, he was one of my very close friends. He did it solo. Um, and that was all the motivation I needed. Um, everything else was, you know, gold from there. I loved everything about Phi Beta Sigma. Very inclusive. Um, you get people from all walks of life compared to other organizations. Again, like you said, no shade. Right. <laughs> but, you know, we have a vast um, organization with, like I said, people from all walks of life. So uh, right. that was my main, you know, driving factors. Uh to pursuing Phi Beta Sigma. We love to hear it. Now, Kenyatta, we are live on the radio in two different cities and live on social media. You know how much exposure that gets. And so one thing that I've always wanted to do is continue to give Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated exposure. Now, does it need it? No, because it's doing such a great job on its own, promoting itself as a wonderful organization and no shade to a lot of other organizations. But we are the organization that has stayed on many campuses more than other organizations. I'm just saying, we, we never had a moratorium. I, I you know, I gotta just put it out there. You know, we never been blocked off college campuses. But <laughs> let's 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 get into this because when people think about black Greek letter organizations, they just think, oh, you know, it's just for college undergrad level students and 
it's all only just a party and they're so just for black people and they're always trying to protect their space. I want you to kind of debunk that and talk about how your experience on your organiz on your campus really showed you that Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated is not only just for black people, but it's for the community and the people at large. I mean, we can start with our social programs. Um, one um, that I'm really a big fan of is our Sleep Off for the Homeless. We literally mm -hmm. raise awareness for the homeless. I remember, you know, my first year being in Los Angeles, my first Founders Day, um, I just was engulfed with love and engulfed with, oh, let's do this. Let's do that. I remember going to sleep off of the homeless and, you know, it, it's California, so it's not as cold as right. we did it in Philadelphia, but it still raises awareness, especially, you know, in California being the homeless capital of the world. Mm -hmm. um, I just see the work that, Everyone, everyone does in the organization. It could be from the president down to uh, a new member or a member trying to join the organization. Everyone right. wants to put the work in. Uh, they want to see the progression of our people and, you know, just help out in the community any way we can, whether it be book bag drives, back to school, sleep off of the homeless, Sigma Betas, where, you know, yep. we're fostering and mentoring young youth to set them on the path for success. You know, mm -hmm. usually when you have those mentors at a young age, it sets your life up for much better success than if you, you know, try to go without one. We love that. Now, Kenyatta, you are, like you said, about to be 10 years old. You are an old fart. <laughs> but you are not that old to where you don't remember your process and what you have to go to to actually to get into the organization. And there's people who are listening in from all over the world right now who aren't even in the organization yet, but they have aspirations to become a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. And I want you to give them some advice on how they can join and what they can do to be a, a part of this illustrious organization. Um, yeah, I would say grades first. Um, you can't do it without grades. Uh, so make sure your GPA is right. Um, I would definitely suggest trying to go for a 3 3 higher, because, you know, once you get in the thick of things, you're calling brothers, you're doing certain things, um, you're learning. That's that's a big part of, of it. It's, you know, you have to maintain your grades and your schoolwork, but now you have to learn the history of Phi Beta Sigma. Yeah. You have to learn your chapter's history. And in my history, you know, I'm come from Epsilon chapter, single letter. We have history Ooh. dating back to 1919. So right. you, it's a lot of work that you have to put in. Just uh, do your due diligence. Um, there are... In, there are always events. Immerse yourself. When you're at these yep. events, just stand in the back, raise your hand, ask some questions. No question yep. is, is ever going to be considered dumb. Um, we welcome all questions. We, we want to understand, you know, who you are and we want to let you know who we are. So it's a give and take thing and you just have to come in every day and put the work in, show up. We love that. Now. I want you to, before we let you go, reflect on your 10 years as a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. And I want you to tell us from being a college student who, like me, didn't know what organization to join because I have a part of me that makes me a first generation college student where I'm just like, I don't really know much about Greek life. And I actually didn't even watch College Days and all those other movies until I even got into college. So I was like, what is this color? What does that mean? Why do they some, somewhat sort of kind of seem the same? And why is it that like, okay, I like the organization, but I don't like the chapter. You know, th there are things that you think when you're going through that process of who do I join? I want you to real quick reflect on little Kenyatta figuring out which organization to join to the current Kenyatta and how he feels now being a member of the organization for such a long time. Yeah. Uh, I remember it just, it was just a bunch of things out uh, the strolling, the stepping, the community service on campus It all was, you know, exciting for me. Uh, I had a best friend who's actually uh, my line brother now, uh, shout out to you, Isaac Ducey. Uh, we would have countless conversations being roommates, uh, being dorm mates, and talking about like how we were going to, you know, attack being in Phi Beta Sigma, what we were going to do to make ourselves stand out, you know, because there were plenty of many people uh, that wanted to join Phi Beta Sigma after uh, my ADP uh, cross solo. Again, we I remember going back and thinking about our information. It was, it was tons of people. And even then, my line was seven members long. So uh, <laughs> it was a lot. And now, you know, just reflecting on the 10 years, it's been great. Um, I can go anywhere in the United States 
and I can just make one phone call, one text message. Hey, hey, frat, uh, somebody set me up with this, or I need a DJ, or you know, what, yep. what are we doing this weekend? Where was community service? Someone is always going to answer the call. Um, everyone loves each other, you know, everyone is like a family, you know. So sometimes you have bickering, uh, but at the end of the day, it's all love, and we all have one goal is pushing each, each other forward. Um, without my line. I can't say I'm the man I am today. Um, Period. They push me to be better. Um, I have a line brother um, that's in clinical research. I have a line brother that's in finance. I have a line brother who is really in uh, the services. He does drumming for the kids. He teaches the kids. Jalil, shout out to you too. Uh, you're a very great brother. So um, all of them just made me become a better man. Even seeing like older guys, you know, in their 50s, I mean, I just was in the gym last week and a brother, I seen his brand. He was like, yeah, he crossed in 1979. He in the gym. And I'm like, oh, you motivate me to not miss no days, man. Right. So it, it's just, I love it. Just reflecting, I wouldn't change anything for the world. I love my frat, best frat from east to west. You know, Listen, I mean? love that. Now, Kenyatta, before we let you go, we got to do the, you know, the blue fight. You know, period. Hey, thank you so much, Kenyatta. I love you, brother. Love you, friend. Happy 110th Founders Day to you. Go, mob. All right, we're going to bring on some more members of Five Beta Single Fraternity Incorporated. You have a good rest of your day, and you be safe today, all right? Thanks, brother. Thanks, Kenyatta. All right, so we're going to bring on two members of Five Beta Single Fraternity Incorporated, which I'm super, super excited to have on. We got Tyleek, and we have Brother Mook TV live. Now, I'm super excited to bring in these brothers on because these are brothers who are doing the darn things like every other brother that I just had on my live radio show but they are out of the DMV and I went to grad school in the DMV and let me tell y'all the blue and white in the DMV is a whole nother thing so without further ado let's bring on Mook we got Mook live on the show I'm going to bring on Tyleek I'm going to make sure Tyleek will actually be available to make sure but until we get Tyleek on the camera we got brother Mook TV live what's up Brad? how you doing good, Ma? What's good with you hey we got your uh paraphernalia on go ahead and show the people what you're wearing yeah I know high beta sigma that's a nice yeah, hoodie what's your hoodie got the shorts. got the shorts oh you got the shorts on too listen it's cold AF you know, here in support Chicago, the brand. Support, the brand. Support, the brand. support the brand you know we, we love to hear it now brother Mook you have been in the organization for a while now. Let everybody know when did you cross? So I went over 122113 mm -hmm. at Zeta Chi Sigma PG Gunny Craig, Greg chapter. And I just celebrated my 10 year. You say you just started to celebrate your 10 year, correct? 10 years, 10 years. Now you've been in the organization for 10 years. And I remember when I moved to the DMV. <laughs> You were one of the first brothers I've met. And I was like, I'm so oh. new here. What do I do? And you took me under your wing. You're like, let me show you the DMV. And I was like, wow. Like, Blue and White, which is Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, Blue and White are our colors. And I was like, wow, Blue and White really does run the DMV. And mm -hmm. just, just the community itself that is throughout the DMV area is insane. And I, I want you to kind of talk about that. Let's talk about how the community is in the DMV as pertains to the blue and white community? To be honest, being part of the blue and white in PG County, we definitely are in the streets. Yep. Especially, you know, we build on cultural service and service for humanity. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, our job is to serve as our community. Listen. And as far as politicians and people like working the streets and working within the neighborhood, nine times out of 10, it's a Sigma or a Zeta. And you know what? I'm so glad you said that because I'm going to actually bring on Tyleek, who is a member of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, of course, one of our brothers. And you said politicians. He is in the political space. And I actually, I'm trying to make sure he get his face on the camera. <laughs> okay, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready. So without further ado, let's bring on brother Tyleek. What's up? What's going, going on? on? What's going on, Ma? Listen, Happy Founders Day. Ma. Happy Founders Day. What's going on, Ma? We Happy got two that are in the DMV. And just like Mook just said, which was a great segue into bringing on Tyleek, we have members a part of many different professions. We're live on the radio. We're live on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. So this is going to go a lot of places. And I want you guys to do your best to talk about what you do. You know, we got, we got Mook. He's out here. I want you to go ahead and tell everybody what you do. 
So what I do, I do a number of things. So I get started with this. You already see the brand Move TV Lab. I'm a uh, mm -hmm. media production company. I started that when I was 18. And then following to that, you know, you gotta eat. So my yep. brother became a chef down in Atlanta Tech. Shout out to Atlanta. And uh, he came back home, was like, yo, I'm trying to start something. So I was like, bro, you need my help? He was like, yeah. So I helped him for a little bit. But I was like, man, I want to make something of this. He was like, well, if you really want to help me, you need to get certified. So I went right. ahead, got certified, and I became his sous chef. So Period. right now, we just finished our third year at FedEx Field called DMV Crab Rose. Okay. We love yeah. to hear it. Congratulations. We're going to ring the bell. Now I'm going to move over to Tyleek. Tyleek, you are in the DMV as well. And I love that you got Nelly on as well. Go ahead and show, show, show off what you're wearing because we are still live on camera right now. Y'all look great. I just, I just, I just I got have... a jacket on, you know. I, I, I apologize. I'm in a car. It's, it's no, listen, you're outside, better than so. me right now. The whole tornado outside. Listen, you're better than me right now. There's a whole snowstorm, snowstorm happening right, right now in the Chicago land area. And my stuff is in storage. I just moved here. So I just got my blue shirt on today. But you were out here putting on for the organization, which I really appreciate. And I want to shine a light on what you do in the real world, because you are a member who has joined the organization and you're keeping the mission alive, but you're also representing in other spaces in the real world. So everybody know what do you do. Yeah, so I, I do a, a civil rights work. I'm, I'm inspired by folks like Brother John Lewis. Um, who, you know, turn demonstrations to legislation. I do a bunch of civil rights work here in uh, the D.C. area. Across, I mean, across the country, around the world. Uh, human rights, civil rights. I'm here to cause some good trouble, some necessary trouble, to shake the table, you know, and, and be and be a brother who can uh, speak truth to power. So, I mean, I'm, I'm super honored to be able to be in spaces to, uh, to, to give my peace of mind and to bring the, the, the voices of the community with me inside the room and so I'm just I'm I'm excited to be here and excited to bring the per, my personality and, and to show folks uh, that it does not take no a box to be in these spaces, but you can be all your your all full authentic self and still uh and still you know have have space and have the right to to, to be to be at uh to be at these tables. We love to hear it. Now we have a few minutes left, and we already asked Mook when he joined. Talik, when did you actually join the organization? I'm a spring eighteen. Ada chap, North Carolina A &T State University. Shout out to Ada, Ada baby, what it do? Uh, so we love uh, to hear it. you know here, and, yeah, spring eighteen. I'm a nine. Shout out to it, what a nine is that? I'm a, a <laughs> line of thirteen. I always say it's not a line without a nine. Not, not a line. Period. A nine. We, we love a good rhyme. It's not a nine it's without a line. line. It's a good rhyme. <laughs> it's so crazy how majority of my brothers are older than me because I crossed spring nineteen. Zeta Auto Sigma chapter quad tail, and you know what a quad's at. Quad! <laughs> Mook understand. Mook understand. Quad tails, tails, quads, oh, all of them. Quads in general. And so I want you guys real quick because we have a few minutes left. Starting off with Mook, why did you actually tell us why did you actually join Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated? So personally, I've been. I feel like this. My father and mother both met at Howard, and with them meeting at Howard. All my uncles were Sigmas. Mm. And growing up, knowing the crazy thing, knowing that I was raised on a 12-inch rule. Mm. So knowing that, going in, it was like, whoa. It was like a total 360, like, okay. But to be honest, I'm also a legacy. But mm. I actually didn't play this for my father. Okay. I went in, like, I went in for my own personal reasons. And at the end of the day, it ain't nothing like brotherhood. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. So for me personally, that alone and knowing the history, the rich history, that made me want to be part of the fraternity. Love to hear yeah. it. 10 years back, changed the world for me. Oh, love to hear it. Now we got a minute left. Like Jamie D. So, you know. <laughs> Facts, we got the meat because of it. Now, Tyleek, you know, let's go ahead and give you this last minute. Tell everybody why you decided to join Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. The inclusive way it was a, the reason that I joined the uh, the fold was because uh, I saw brothers who didn't have a, a certain shape or mold or what they looked like, but uh, they were all leaders in their respective places and they carried themselves as such. I came uh, like I, I came in in the civil rights work at a very young age. Uh, my mentor being Reverend Al Sharpton, he you know came into the organization. Um, I had some uncles who who were part of the organization. 
Um, and so I was always surrounded by Sigma men. Uh, John Lewis, like I said, was a, a big inspiration of mine. And uh, just seeing le leaders like that, um, and it, I mean, big civil rights leaders. Uh, we, we, there's a bunch of civil rights folks and social justice folks who are in the fold. And so, I mean, being able to watch leaders like that, and I, I just admire folks who are very inclusive and not exclusive. And that is that is who we are. And um, that's why I joined. And, uh, and, and that's why we are continuing to inspire the folks to say that, that we are the men who, uh, who do the great work. We Go love mom. To hear. Now, y'all, this mom. has actually been it for the show. But before I let you guys go, you know, we got we got we got to do it right. Tyler, take yourself off mute. We got to do it right. Blue fight you. Blue. Blue. We love to hear it. Thank you guys so much. Happy 110th Founders Day to the members of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated. I appreciate you both for coming on my live radio show and adding your spice to the show. I really appreciate you guys. You guys be good. All right. Now, this has been the Jamie D Show live on KSHP AM 1400 and 107.1 FM every Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. until 12 p.m. PST out of Las Vegas, Nevada, and live on WRMN AM 1410 and 96.7 FM every Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. until 2 p.m. CST. I love y'all. Have a great day. And if you know a Sigma, send them some money. <laughs> $19.14. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love y'all. Peace out.